Miss Rooster, are you ready to get a present? Hmm? Look what I got for Miss Rooster that I am getting ready to start on. I ordered lumber in Oklahoma at a place. They had everything I needed. Nobody had the square post I needed locally, so I went to Oklahoma. They're going to deliver it Tuesday, but today, Miss Rooster gets a yard. That's right. I got four. There better be four in there. Yeah, four 16 foot, four foot panels. She should have this up in a few hours, and Miss Rooster will be running without that cable. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is string it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to look halfway decent. So I'm gonna string a line from the edge of this porch, right there, from that corner. And I'm gonna run that fence straight out here. And this will all grow in. <coughs> and it will match up even with that. Now that is not straight from what I've seen from the drone footage, but hey man, it's what I had at the time. So that will give her a pretty big area for such a little monster. Look at her. And she, she better stay out of my garden beds. These things are starting to take off. Otherwise, I will have to change it up a little bit. Is that understood? I'm talking to you. Huh? Look here. Did you want your yard? You can get off that cable, and then when you gotta go potty, I just let you out and you can go on your own. Yeah. All right. Let's get busy. All right. I got her area strung out, and I got it square. The way I checked for square, I went and measured four feet there. There, I made a dot. And I'm, I measured four or five feet, made a dot, and you should get six feet from dot to dot across ways. And we were like within a quarter of an inch, I'm going to call it good. And I'm going to go straight on with the porch and straight with this fence. And now I'm going to start driving T-post. And then I have to put a gate on that side of the porch where the stairs are and then a little piece of fence across uh, here so she can't go all the way through and around so I should have this up in a I don't know close to an hour and a half two hours So let's just get going on it All the T posts put up for this front part with all the rocks in the ground here you don't always get exactly spaced apart you may have to move two or three inches one way or another I did add a few two feet to the yard because they come in 16 foot panels I wanted them to end even so even though those two aren't four feet apart it's better than having two feet apart and I, yeah, my string lines relaxed so now she can get in all the garden beds and i'll have to come up with something to fix that kind of kind of defeats the purpose of having them with i'm gonna put a dog yard in but she needs a yard she likes she needs to run around and have fun all that will return to grass but it's just her in there so 
because I'm not pulling in here to park anymore, obviously. So I'm going to get this panel I dug over here put up. I'll have to cut a piece. Uh, I did get an extra one with that in mind. So let me get busy on that and I'll be back. fence panel up using these fence clips so generally you can tell if your t-posts are level by going off the fence uh, sometimes you got to move them I ain't got anything to stretch this with unless I went and got the lawnmower but it's these that's the nice thing about these panels they're, they're easy to install and they stay pretty tight and all you do with these clips Put that one upside down because of where it was but i just take my needle nose pliers pull that around and just come over there they ain't going nowhere a lot easier than wiring them and i'll go get the bottoms here in a little bit i'm just trying to get the tops installed i spent a lot of money today guys that lumber was not cheap uh, they go all the way to Oklahoma they're going to deliver it Tuesday but I'll get everything and it, it's not going to be everything I need but I do get the roofing for the screen in porch uh, I got the materials to build the screen in porch uh, I don't really know what kind of roof I'm putting on the storage room yet or how I'm going to do it so I didn't order uh, the tin for that but I can get that uh, with my truck so I just had them deliver it just because they're already coming here I'm getting some big 20-foot panels and things like that so All right, this one's going upside down but it'll do the same thing can't find my good wire pliers as usual Rooster's gonna love this I'll come around the inside and get that later she won't get through this the only thing I worry about is if she gets her head in there I don't think she's that stupid. But you never know. guys I'm gonna pull this one back out I'm gonna show you how to do that without a t-post puller I've shown this in my other videos very simple why go out and waste money on a t-post puller when you already got one just get a piece place right there straight on with it you got these notches get your foot there push this back until it hits a notch pull same thing push it forward Pull. Push it forward. Pull. 
Yeah, that's the worst part of it, keep it that straight. But once you get a rhythm, pull. Push it forward, pull. Forward, pull. A little bit of time, hardly any effort. And your key post is out. What do you think of them apples? The tomatoes are bananas. Now, the way this is working out, this will be exactly four feet. And that will be exactly four feet. So that works out good. It'll look better. And I'll be back. All right, now I need one eight foot section. So I've already measured out eight foot margin. These are 16, 16 foot, so I'll have exactly eight foot left. And if I'm a mark, you need a set of bolt cutters for this job. Let's see. Oh. I'm getting ready to put this wall up or this fence wall. This one's going to be challenging It goes uphill And there's going to be tree roots and I ain't gonna film it because there is bound to be cussing uh, Hissy fits and throwing things so I'll spare y'all uh, Hopefully it goes well, but it will be going uphill and what I do is I'll measure down from the top four feet I want two feet in the ground that way every post goes in two feet with the lay of the land so all of the t posts should be like that at the top of the fence panel all right let me get this thing going all right i know this is ugly up on the porch one panel back there she's ready to come out fence is done guys yeah this was a tough one and there's a gap down there and nothing i can do I, I did buy landscape timbers and i think i'll run a, uh some of them up through there uh, i don't think she'll dig her way out that's nothing but rock so got that She's already been out checking it out. She's going to put a piece uh, right behind that ladder there. Keep her out of going back there. We'll get the weed eater out first and get this all weed eated down. And then I will show you the release of the rooster. Why do you keep getting under that chair and getting tangled? I know you need shade. You can go in the house. She will not go in. She hates going in the house. She loves being outside, don't you, girl? 
Alright, we'll be back when I get that last piece cut. Alright everybody, it's the moment of truth. I'm going to take one more walk around. Because if you miss something, the dogs will find it right off the bat. Yep, she can't get through there. I will fix that tomorrow. She's not going to try to get through there. She's got a big area. Now, I've had rooster six years. I think it'll be seven. It'll be, I got her in 14, or I'm sorry, 16, 2016 of August. And uh, so yeah, this August, be six years. I've got this panel up here. I've left the ladder there. I uh, still need to get up there, I guess. Uh, all right, she ate her supper. Come here. I've got that blocked off temporarily. Tomorrow I will build a nice swinging gate. I can go in and out that I can latch where she can't. It's a bit of a challenge or hassle, you know, having that there, having this here. But I think Miss Rooster here is going to love it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get you off of this. You got a yard, girl. Come on. Come on out. Come on. She doesn't even know it. Right, let me hook her cable up. She don't need that no more. All right, here comes Miss Rooster Waldo. Look at her. Look at you. You don't got a cable. Yeah. She's gonna smile. Come on. What's going on? Come on. Here comes the here come brother and sister. Come on. <laughs> what do you think of that? You got your own yard. Go well, check it out. Look at that little girl. Get out of the shadow. You got your yep. Yeah, she went right to that spot. She ain't gonna get out. You don't know how don't stick your head through there. I gotta see what she does. First thing they do, they look for ways out. I guess ain't enough. You check it out, Rooster. Well, what's your brother and sister that you're not on the table no more? What do you think? I'm gonna take that string off. So don't mess it. Mess with it. There. She's just checking it out. So make sure nobody can get in. Huh? Come on, Rust. You got your own yard. Come here, come here, what do you think? You gonna take your first poop you just ate? Take your first poop without me taking you. <laughs> I don't see her head stuck in there. I don't think, I don't think she'd get stuck. She don't hardly have no ears. She's got a little old pig ears. What do you think? All right, guys. That's gonna be nice for me. At nighttime, I can just open the door, let her out. She'll scratch on the door when she wants back in. I don't have to worry about nothing getting her. And I'll probably go around and shore this up a little better, but it's it's not going nowhere. Come over here, Rooster. Check it out. Come here. Come here. Come here. I thought she'd be running all over like a hooligan, but I guess not. Come on, Rooster. All right, guys. She's going to check it out by this time tomorrow. She'll have every spot memorized and be running around going nuts. Happy trails. Well, it seems with the new driveway, I got a new driveway guard. Yeah. Did you eat all your supper? He showed up yesterday. What you got on you? And, uh, I guess she don't want to leave. I've been feeding her. 
I know you're not, they say you're not supposed to, but I'm not going to see the dog go hungry. She doesn't bother nobody. Oh, Tilly. Tilly Tillerson. She's got a collar, so she's somebody's dog. Yeah, need to get her wormed. Are you ever going to leave? She says, no, I eat too good here. Yeah, you can tell she's not used to being around people. She's weary, so I'm just going to let her get used to me. She can stay here as long as she wants. What you think, baby girl? You can tell she's scared. She, she might have been dumped here. Yeah, you're sleepy, huh? She slept under my truck last night. But Libby's under there now, so... All right. Come here. I don't care what Tilly's been telling you guys. You can't stay here. Okay? Listen, you little... Oh, what have I started? Look at this. Two of these little buttheads. You, you can't hang out here, Slick. You're somebody's dog. Oh, it never ends, guys. Apparently, Tilly's been telling all of them, hey man, this is the place to be over at Dog Man's. And look at him. That one, he can get through the fence. You guys gotta go home. There is nothing better in life than having a couple of puppy dogs. I've got four. I used to have nine. They live their lives out on this property. And this one here, he's the oldest of all of them. He's still alive, ain't you, Waldo? He's just like a puppy. Look at this toy that a subscriber sent you. He loves it. But I think he loves his daddy more. Oh, Lily's got to, gonna get your toy. Come here, Lily. Yes. Oh, she's got your toy. He don't care. He just loves his daddy. He's a good boy. There's Rooster. She's all jealous. Come here, Lily. What are you doing? He's gonna get nuts now. Come here. Come here and see daddy. And you're silly. You're silly. Yeah. I have a water leak somewhere and I can't find it. But I can smell it. I can smell it. You gonna come see daddy? Yeah, I see you, Rooster. Where's your toy? Give me the ball. If you don't have dogs, they will bring you the most joy anything could bring in your life, man. Shift you to your shit. Yeah, there's a water leak somewhere. I smell it. Hopefully my well is not draining out. Where's the leak? Huh? You gonna look at the at the camera? Him's a good boy. He's been with me since the first day I've arrived in Arkansas. Ten years ago. Him and his sister were there. His sister passed away. She's buried right back there. Yeah. What is that smell, guy? We smell water. I gotta find where that's coming from, man. Oh, here comes Lily. And Lily I've had since she was a little bitty puppy. Hey, watch this. Since she was a little bitty baby. Yeah, that gets her going. Since she was a little bitty baby. Yeah, you were. You were eight weeks old when I got you. And I brought you home and put you in the fifth wheel. Yep, until you got big enough to be out with the other dogs. And then Waldo took over. He raised you up, him and Lucy. And Wally and Lulu. And now you're still scared of everything. Why is that? Come here. Get up here. Get up here and see Daddy. Then we got Rooster. She's a whole nother. Come here. Come here. Yeah. She's always been scared of stuff. Come here, boy. What are you doing? But these are my dogs, man. That's why I'm a dog, man. They're my life. Come here, Waldo. You guys get away from the tripod. They're very interested in that. Come here. Yeah. You're a big chunk. You're chubby. 
I don't know how you get chubby like you do on what I feed you. But you do. Oh, 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 oh. Where's Wanda? Come here. Come here, boy. Come see Daddy. Here comes my boy. Help me out with Daddy. Uh, we're gonna get your dog apartment fixed up and we'll have slumber parties. Yeah, Daddy will come in and have a slumber party with you guys. I got your ears. You want them back? You want your ears back? He says, no. I don't need them, I'm old, Daddy. I'm 77 years old in dog years. He's a good boy, though. Yeah, he's my Waldo. What you doing? Where's Lily? Where's Rooster? Where's Rooster? She's over there. I still smell the water leak. I don't know where it is. Yeah, he's gonna be a good boy. He's a good boy. I'm up here with Daddy. Come here, Lily. Come with some pretty birds. You hear pretty birds? I hear pretty birds. Yeah, he's my boy. He's 11 years old. He's gonna be 20 years old. Yeah, you're gonna be the oldest living dog ever. You ain't. Right? You are. Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Go get your toy. He's handsome. He's a handsome boy. He knows it too. You got a bug on your head. Let me get it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I know. I know how to set him off. You got one. Boom. You got no more ears. Look at her. She can't hear no more. What are you doing? Lily has never been a uh, lovey-dovey type dog. She's been scared. Ooh, what was on your mouth, girl? What are you doing over there, boy? Let's get that toy. Come here. <laughs> Y'all gotta see this. That boy, 11 years old. Look at him. Where's your toy? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Waldo, get that toy. Where's your toy? He, oh, man, yeah, as always, the neighbors got to stir things up. Go get your toy. Get your toy. Where's your toy? You want this ball? I got a ball. 11 year old dog, watch this. He ain't aged a bit. That's one silly boy. <laughs> I love it. Whoever sent these toys to my dogs, thank you. They love them. Look at him throw that ball. He is silly. You're silly, Lily. Where's your ball? Oh, he's got the ball. That's why I'm the old man. Because I just love these guys. You still got that ball. Yeah, it's too hot, boy. Come here. It's not that hot. It's probably 75 degrees right now. Come here. Come sit with me. I got my Lily right here. That's my life, guys. Living with the puppy dogs. Don't matter how old they are. Alright. Happy trails. Now you sitting there guarding your food. Come here, let me show you what I set you up for. Come on, Tilly. Come here. You gotta you gotta get around all the construction stuff. Come here. Good chicken strip. Come here, I'm gonna show you where you can get when it gets hot. You would follow me earlier. 
You can come in here. I got the fan on high. Yeah. It's like the construction that stood still because it's too hot. All right, you can stay there. Yeah, it's cool. We're gonna get you fattened up again. If you'd hung around, you'd be chubby by now. I've got a bacon treat. I've got a sausage and a chicken strip. Put those in your bowl. Then you got fresh water. What you working on? Your sausage. You wouldn't eat treats the last time you came here. Yeah, now you know what they are. Uh, your, your coat's looking a little rough. We gotta get you back into shape. But you gotta hang around. Yeah, and she's not pregnant, guys. She's too young. She's almost to that age, but she's not. Uh, I think she lives up the hill there that guy's probably got 50 60 dogs like it's 80 almost 80 year old man i couldn't imagine having that many dogs at that age and all he does with them is hunt but she busted loose again yeah all right tilly i'll check on you through the day and then this one here I come out last night right around dusk and she's just standing right here. I'm like, why why ain't you moving? She stuck her body through one of these pieces of fence and I couldn't see it. <laughs> she couldn't go anywhere. Because she buried a treat up in there somewhere. So, you know. I bet she won't do that again. Will you? Miss Rooster. Hey. Hey. Talking to you. Just ignore me, ain't you? You're a character. Oh, the next 10 days, man. I think we got one day, it's 109. There's gonna be anywhere from 101 to 109. You guys don't care, do you? Because you're in air conditioning. Yeah, they come out in the mornings, they come out in the evenings, and you don't see them in between. Oh well. I'm gonna lick my camera. Alright. And Miss Libby, she likes to come out here and get under my truck. If you like a milk bone, we're gonna get silly with it. There it is. You like to lay in that old dirt, don't you? You know why? Because you're goofy. It's too hot to go for our walk. Yeah. But when it gets hot, she's got this, it's really shady and cool over here. This is where I got the chickens. So she comes in here, gets real cool in that corner, and she lays right there by the doghouse. I come out here, I've got, actually got a thermometer around the, the other side there, so I know what temperature is. Yep, it gets hot, but it's too hot for me to build or anything else. I think tomorrow I'm gonna spread a tarp out probably on this wall here. I don't even really think it's needed. She's a short hair. Come here, let go. Libby, come here. She's eating her milk bone. She ain't going nowhere. All right, but I do check on my dogs all day long. Did you eat your milk bone? Yeah. Did you eat it? <laughs> yeah, you don't eat it unless you roll it in that dirt. I don't get you guys. Alright, let's go see the chickens are enjoying their morning. They've got a thermometer right there. 77 degrees right now. 72% humidity waddle. What do you think of that? <laughs> you need a bath, boy. I'm gonna probably stick uh I've got a tub somewhere I'm gonna fill with water it's only about three inches deep but they like to get in there when it gets hot get their feet wet so I'm gonna do that here in a minute all right and the garden is still doing good I've been watering it in the morning and the afternoon I thought my well went dry 
but it was a pressure switch was sticking it would work sometimes and then it wouldn't work so i sprayed it with wd-40 and i replaced it so i just replaced that last summer well then i pulled a whole bunch of tomatoes off last night and peppers and i think today i'm gonna dehydrate some basil uh the cayennes that i pulled off here get them uh ground up into some powder yeah i mean it's uh doing okay i guess could look better my potatoes the second batch are coming up these they're done for yeah squash beetles got to that's why i shouldn't eat. i wasn't even going to plant these there are more trouble in arkansas than they're worth and they're not doing well squash beetles hit to me it ain't worth it sit here and try to they haven't produced one good cucumber yet they just taste terrible they turn yellow immediately and they're so cheap in the store i'm not gonna fool with them i already pulled up the squash and the cucumber over there they were struggling real bad you see how they if you don't get them right at the right time and these i, I have not even seen them look green now that one there is not too bad but they're just not doing right i don't care about them that tomato's got a hole in it let's give that to the chickens there's another tomato i got a whole bunch of tomatoes to do today getting some nice ones this year and then i got a whole big bowl full of peppers that i harvested last night these are just you can't hurt these things man they are doing great pretty much got all the big peppers off and this we're almost struggling a little they don't get too big but you know this is this week's gonna be really hard on them tomatillos are going crazy they're not ready yet they won't be ready for a while yeah there's just a little ball inside there we got a few more serranos to harvest okra Oh, I'm ready for this this heat man to get out of here. Gosh hey, You can't do nothing This pepper's doing okay And he gets some of this harvest didn't dry it up today And I didn't even know what this was here in the middle. I didn't remember. It's a uh, oregano Yep, get some of that off there All right guys that big bad dude's coming up. This is a horrible summer for heat I knew we were due. Last one we had this bad was in 2012. That's the year I moved here. It was brutal. We had temperatures like 114, 115 for the entire summer. And that's what we're going to have this year. So, <laughs> there it still sits. But that's all right. There's nothing I can do right now. And here's what I harvested just last night. Look at all them tomatoes. That big old dude. Man, that looks good. I got cayennes. I got serranos. There's some... I don't know. I'm not sure what those are. They're not jalapenos. Uh, that's a jalapeno. So, lemon dehydrator. I've got these uh, bell peppers to get all sliced up and frozen. I'm going to show you how I do that. It's a pretty simple procedure. And that's what we got, man. Even as hot as it is, I'm still producing. Enough for me, anyway. Oh, and I had one in my pocket. There we go. Oh, if you eat tomatoes, would you like a salad? That's not a ball. That's a tomato. Dogs don't eat them. It makes their paws grow really big. Yeah. Then you'd be walking around like a duck. But you got Miss Tilly over there to keep you company. Alright. Alright. Getting ready to cook up a feast. I've got the Brussels sprout squash. There's some onion, green peppers cut up in there. Those will go into the air fryer later. Look at these steaks, man. 
Oh, a couple of ribeyes. Mm. And then I've got spaghetti squash. I've got my special brew in there. Now I'm getting ready to make some different kind of baked beans. Y'all will see uh, when I get those done. All right. If you've already, if you watch my live stream with me and Jeff, then you've already seen this. But I'm just showing you how I'm putting it together. All right, these are what I'm waiting to taste. Took a couple cans of band camp pork and beans. I took the two big cans. I cut up a little green pepper, some onion, put in some cinnamon, some brown sugar, and one can of apple pie filling. And man, I'm gonna tell you what. I can't wait. Now, I was going to melt some marshmallows on top, but I forgot the marshmallows. So we're just going to have to try it like that. I got the recipe from uh, a video on blue, uh, the Blue Feather Homestead, I believe I'm, if I'm right. And uh, I'll put a link to that uh, video, and she goes into detail. I'm just kind of showing it, and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. But I got to say, I snitched the taste of it cold. Ooh, I'd eat it like that, man. It's good. We'll get this thing baked up. All right. All right, we get this grill fired up. We got the spaghetti squashes in there. Get this nice and hot. Let that cook for about an hour. Uh, could do it in the air fryer, but I got stuff going in the air fryer. So I don't know if Jeff's ever had spaghetti squash, but he's eating it. Because it's good. This ain't Burger King. There's Miss Tilly. Yeah, we had what 37 drops of rain and you ran up in there in your little shelter and now you're eating your supper Yeah, I bet we'll have some scrap steak bones for you If they got bones, I don't think they have bones She's such a pretty girl. Say hi to everybody This is hey, my name's Tilly Christian musician all right guys after a great steak dinner with groovy eggs farm jeff bobblehead homestead we're doing a live with butt nuggets i don't think anybody's did a clip while they were doing a live so i'm doing it there's me talking to you happy trails well what you doing miss telly Looks like you're pretty well dug in there. Yeah, I don't have any more plants in there, do I? Oh, that's okay. You're staying cool, ain't you? Yeah. All right, I gotta go talk to, your, to Waldo and Lily. I got a present for them. That's right. Let's go see Waldo and Lily. I got a present. They're gonna be excited. I got a nice present for them, man. Uh oh, music, music, music. Music, 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 music. All right, here we go, guys. We're at the apartment. There you are. I got a present for you guys. Dude, look. Your tape came for your insulation. Well, I know, I'm always excited. Yeah, you guys have been waiting on this tape for weeks. Yeah, that's to put on these in between here in the places. And then I can finish insulating. Oh, well, our site. I know, I would be. That's a very shiny roll of tape. Very expensive roll of tape. You're just all tired in here, boy. Alright, I'm gonna leave this with you guys for protection, okay? Don't let nobody get that tape. Ooh. Probably gotta clean their filter. Oh, it's still good. Alright, we're gonna eat pretty soon. It's almost supper time. I gotta get a broom, come in here and get this place cleaned up because you guys have messed it up. I like what you've done with your place, Libby. Look at this. I hung a tarp up. Tell you what, that blocks out all that west heat. It is not bad in here at all. Yeah. I wish I could have air conditioning rooms for all of them, but I can't. 
especially this one. She don't get along with nobody. Well, it's, they don't like her. That's what it is. But I wouldn't trust Li Libby as far as I could throw you. Couldn't. You, you, you just go off in a minute, don't you, Lib? Yeah, they're surviving, guys. But man, it's just hot right now. It's cloudy. It's it's pretty bearable right now. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna get these guys fed. Look at you sitting in my chair. You're gonna have to go out eventually. Go potty. Yeah. I don't know about you. You're something else. All right, it's supper time for the puppy dogs, and I got a special surprise for Miss Tilly today. Here's their cover. They got their own cover. And every day, I got a different flavor that I mix into their dry food because you wouldn't want to eat the same thing every day. Well, they don't want to eat the same thing every day. So I change it up. Sometimes it has gravy. Sometimes it's ground. I call the ground the smellies because it always stinks. And uh, I just got them all lined up here. All you got to do is mix that in real good. I'm going to add a touch of water just to make the gravy go a little further. And today... Tilly gets her own permanent bowl. She's gonna be excited. And there's Miss Rooster's Little Caesar shop. She likes those, that's lamb, that's her favorite. So let's go feed them. And here we go, let's feed Miss Tilly, Miss Libby. Where you at, Tilly? There you are. Look here, I got a surprise for you. Look at this. You got your very own permanent bowl. Just like everyone else's. She wastes no time tearing into it. And if you stay for two more weeks, you'll get your own collar like everybody else with my name on it. And you can call me daddy. Yeah. All right, we got another monster over here waiting her supper are you, you ready for supper Lib? there you are yeah yeah you're having wild caught salmon today is that up to your standards i know it's hot you just got fresh water get you some big drinks she does very well in this heat surprisingly and i hate it Alright, two more monsters to go feed. And you can hear Waldo demanding, demanding his meal. Yeah, yeah, you're the only boy we know. We you got your dinner. Are you hungry? Yeah? Oh, that boy, ever since he's been a baby, gets excited. Every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. We're going to get it for you. We're sister. She's in the apartment, ain't she? Yeah. Come on, Lily. Here's yours, boy. Here, Lily. There's yours. Wild caught salmon today. With a little gravy in it. All right, let's get you some fresh water. And you've got fresh water in the water shelter. Yeah. Uh, I got a video, guys, of building that shade shelter for the water bucket. And you'll get your own water bucket in here in a few weeks. Yeah. There she goes in her hidey hole. <laughs> she also drinks out of that air conditioner bucket. It's nice and cold and it's good water, too. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Just a... Uh, just a hodgepodge of what's going on, which isn't much. Uh, until this heat subsides, yeah, it's going to probably be videos like this one. Uh, whatever comes to my mind. Uh, maybe a little cooking videos, I don't know. It's just too hot. As everybody knows, a lot of the country's under excessive heat warnings. 
and it's just nothing nothing I'm willing to go out and do I mean I just can't work you know I said before I can't work in the heat uh, so I'm sorry if the content isn't exciting but I got to keep the YouTube going somehow so I'll be putting up different things I come up with uh, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate it if you subscribe hit the like button no oh, smash the like button click the notifications if you want me to bother you at 2 in the morning when I decide I got an idea. That's a good idea. So anyway, uh, hopefully we get a break in this heat, but man, I don't see it happening until, you know, hot, August is actually the hottest month in the south, so I don't see it getting any better, but it could. Uh, we did get a little bit of rain last night. It wasn't enough. I went out and checked my garden first thing. It was a little wet on the top. I stuck my finger in the soil dry still had the water so but every little bit helps but it was not not enough to do any good so we do need rain bad it's uh, you walk on that grass right now it's just crispy super crispy and ever you know i had a big fire here in 2015 all the land around me burned up uh it looked like somebody threw a cigarette out the window and caught the grass on fire man i had my pine trees on fire you know 60 feet up and it was windy it was in october and so that was a really hot summer but it ain't just in the united states it's in canada europe is having record heat they're having a hard time and they're not built for it over there you know, like in london and that those people don't have air conditioning very few people have air conditioning over there but we're gonna worry about here right now so uh I may get in there tomorrow I got that tape in today and work on that because I can work in the air conditioning there and get the rest of that insulated I didn't even finish that I mean that last video where I was doing that I think was the last time I worked on it and that was well over a month ago and nothing's worse than having all the materials and everything to finish it and decorate it and not being able to do it and but we'll just we'll get there someday that's more content for the future guys all right man happy trails did you get a new toy forget it that boy got him a toy thank you sarah kofi for sending waldo a toy get it boy you don't have to try to break it toss it Getting to be a little hot, boy. Play for a little bit, and then we go in the air conditioning. You know, spring chicken. Look at this knucklehead. 
She's just laying down. She's got her bowl in her lap. And she's just sitting there eating. And who is that? Who are you? You look like a cross between a bagel and a weenie dog. And you're not supposed to be up here. You know, I got toys scattered out. Uh, this is getting ridiculous, guys. Look at you, Tilly. Uh, oh, man. Now, Miss Tilly, didn't we have a discussion about you bringing your friends up here? Well, that's a strange looking little girl there. Yeah, what are we gonna name her? Uh huh. I say Squatty Squatterson. Yeah. She probably wants to come over here and get a drink. Have your nice cold water. Look at your coat. You are looking good. You're looking good, girl. You better not get pregnant and come over here with them babies. Yeah. Miss Tellerson, what are you doing? Squatty Squatterson. He's short to the earth, or she. She has little nipples there. What are you doing? What's up, guys? I haven't posted in a while on this channel. Figured I'd come on, let you know I'm still alive. I've been busy on the other channel, no excuse. But, uh, got a few updates. You remember Miss Melly, don't you? Let's check her out. What are you doing, baby girl? Would you like to come get one of these milk bones right here? Come here. Come on. No. Come on. Oh, every other time you do, come here. She'll take it out of my hand. Come on. Here. Let's get you this milk bone. Come here. She might be scared of the camera. I don't know. Oh, well, you can just have it. She's coming along pretty good. She's still very skittish though. But she is coming within a foot of me now. And she will take them out of my hand. Oh, who's this beggar coming? You're getting downright chubby, Tilly. These two are buddies. Yeah, they are. You coming, you want one? Come here, come here, Tilly. I got you one. The other dogs are getting jealous because you guys are getting all these milk. I know your little act, Millie. Yeah, you know you get milk bones as long as you're skittish. You're giving her looks. You're giving her looks. What is that silly girl over there doing? Take it. Okay. <laughs> oh, how rooster. What? She don't bark at Millie no more. She did for about four or five days. All right, guys, let's go walk. Oh yeah, this is Millie's new setup. She always sleeps right here in front of the cabin. So I got her one of these barrels and cut it open. Of course, you guys seen the short probably, but the first night she didn't get in there, but she's getting in there now. She likes it. Mmm. That make y'all hungry? Yeah. Black fly larva. Waddles eats it up. Get after it, boy. You guys didn't hardly eat any of your scratch. Because I probably gave you too much to get rid of that bag. I'm going to get you guys some fresh water. I'll be out with that in a minute. Yeah, we're getting low, man. Alright, y'all remember just a few days ago when I cut all this down? See how it's settled down now? All the leaves are dying. So it's settling down. Give it another few weeks. The leaves will be totally gone. And go in there. They got all them sticks, burn them. We, our burn band ought to be over. We had a good couple days rain. Oh, the cattle got released. There's a little bit of green coming out in the grass, but not a whole lot. Get your head petted again, stinker. Well, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, did you want to go walk later? You get out of there. Oh, Miss Rooster wants your milk balls. Let's go over here. Let's go over here where it's nice. Yeah. 
Come here. Come here. You want me to get down on the ground? I don't know if I can get back up. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Well, you can't have those. <laughs> Come on, baby girl. I did catch your head. Well, let's sit down here, okay? Let me come sit down here. And then we'll give them to you. Come here. Come here. You're gonna like them and then you're gonna want another one. Yeah, so come here. You know, I got them. Come on. Come here. Come here. You know I got him. Come here. Yeah, but girl. Such a sweet girl. Come here. Well, that won't hurt you. That's just camo. Come here. You want another one? Come here, Millie. Your baby girl. You want to come see me? You want those head petted again? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Well, come see me. Come see me. Come on. Well, you know, I already petted you. I already petted your head and your chin. And I didn't hurt you then. Why am I going to hurt you now? Because I ain't going to hurt you. Well, come here. Oh. Got one right there on my knee. Right there on my knee, and you know you want it. Come here, because i got to take Libby for a walk. We'll get this petting over with. Because I've already petted you once real good. Yeah, come here. You want your head petted again? Yes, you do. We've been petting. I've been petting on her for a while now. About an hour. Ooh, let's get that chin. Be getting a collar on you soon. Look at that big old long lanky neck. What you gonna do with that thing? Yeah, was your mama a giraffe? Huh? Was your mama a giraffe? See, there's a picture of you in there. You're pretty. Yeah. See, I'm not gonna hurt you. You are very thin. Yeah. I get to get you tamed so I can get you to the doctor. You can go for a ride in a truck. Get them big old honking nails cut. Get your cut, get you, get you all checked out. Yeah. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? That's why they call me the dog man. There's never been one that I cannot make friends with, ever. Huh. Well, you're such a good girl. Did you want to see yourself right there? Show people how pretty you are. She's still uh, very skittish, but we've, this is a major, major milestone right here. Come on, come with me, come on. Libby got snippy with her a little bit ago. Yeah, let me sit down, see if she'll come to me now. She doesn't like this camera at all. She sees it, and she kind of backs off. Come on, let's get some more. I got more pettings for you. And if she comes to me again, we're good. Yeah, we're good. You like that head petting. That's probably been a long time. Probably never had it. Maybe when you was a puppy, but I doubt it. Come here. There's not always gonna be a treat in my hand. Come here, Millie. Come here. What are you doing? Didn't Libby sniff at you? Yeah, she's unpredictable and mean. That's why Libby don't have no friends. Yeah, because she can't put her with other dogs. Yeah, she's unsociable. What do you think of that? Getting Millie all tamed up. You like Millie, don't you? 
You ain't got to put your nostrils up in that. Little goofball. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you like a, a film star now? Is that what you think? You're a film star. Miss Milligan. Millicent Mac Milligan. That's your full name. Miss Millicent Milligan. Milligan. Millicent Mary Milligan. That's your full name. Yeah, I'm gonna draw you a birth certificate. Yep. You're about a year and a half, two years old. Yeah, it'll get you in the doggy clubs, things like that. You're gonna need an ID drawn up. Millicent Mary Milligan. There she goes. It is a dreary, dreary day. Never did rain today, though. This one got to get out of my hair and come outside all day. Yeah, you did. What if, what if I was to say, hot dogs? You like hot dogs? Hot dogs? Gosh, I better have some. All right, let me go make some up. All right, when I make my hot dogs for the dogs, I put them in the microwave for 12 seconds. So, I'll just go ahead. No more, no less. What was that on? 20? So I gotta go to 8. That way it takes the ice coldness out of it. Makes them easier for, well actually, it's for Lily. Lily won't eat them if they're ice cold. So now they're about lukewarm. Then I chop them in half. I got one more going now because I got Melly here. And the rooster gets hers cut in half. Now, as we walk outside, you're going to notice, let me get this folded up, guys. You're going to notice a Miss Rooster freaking out, doing the hot, hot dog dance. What are you doing? You doing the hot dog dance? Is that your hot dogs? Let's put them on your plate. Oh, you want them up there? You're going to just gather them up and take them away. No, no, you're going to eat them right there. Miss Melly, you get a whole one. Would you like a hot dog? Yes. She wouldn't like a hot dog. Come here, I got one more for you. There she comes. Good girl. What about these two? Look at the look on their face. Yeah, gonna do the hot dog dance. Uh, we heated them up for eight seconds like you like them, Willie. Really. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. I gotta go give Libby one. And she'll probably bury it. No, there's no more, Millie. There's no more. You had a whole one. Nobody else got a whole one. Uh -uh. Back, where's... Nobody else got a hole in this one's for Miss Libby. <laughs> oh, be careful. Dogs don't have reverse, okay? First rule, dogs don't have reverse. They're not good at it. Come here, Libby. You want your milk bone? Yeah. Well, Millie was walking with me and Libby. And she sniffed it, Millie. I told you guys, Libby is uh, antisocial and unpredictable. Yes, we're talking about you. Come get your hot dog. And she's always been that way. Not a lot of dogs I've encountered that I don't really trust. But you don't turn your back on her. There she goes with her hot dog. Yeah, was that good? You can't eat this camera. You can't eat this camera. Come on. How am I petting you one minute? And the next minute you're running from me. Well, you think I had something you came up. And I was just petting you. 
dogs. She needs a lot more work, but we have a good start. All right, guys, just a very short video today. I wanted to show you that there is hope for Millie. There is a lot of hope for Millie. And if she stays around, then we're going to we're going to get her where she needs to be. I need to get her the vet, get her spayed, need to get her a checkup. Uh, so I see that happening in about a week. We can get her a uh, leash broke, not even so much, but she's terrified. I bet she'd be terrified of a ride, but we'll see. I'll get her there. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Give me a like, give me an unlike. I don't care. Happy trails, guys. Well, what are you doing, boy? Look how you tore these blankets up. What's with that? Stuff's everywhere. I'll tell you what. Because of that. You're gonna oh. lose good tearing it all oh. up. Oh. Well, Millie would like these blankets. Oh. Oh. You're losing them, buddy. I can't give you these blankets no more. You, you just can't. You know why? Hang on a second. Hang on, I'll be right back. I got you brand new biscuits. Look at that. Here, no, don't you cry, ah, you little butthead. Get out of here. Hey, hey, hey. That's why you don't get nothing. Get on there. Get on there. Stop. You little butthead. Give me that. Oh. Oh, he's in trouble. Where are you at, you butthead? You give me that. Uh-uh. Give me that biscuit. I tell you what. Now I know what to do. You don't get them until nighttime. Give me that. Give me that. Ah, ah. Bad boy. Bad boy. Can't get you nothing. You better leave Rellies alone. He's already messed it up. You! You're 11 years old. Why do you have like Why? Ow. Maybe I'll give it to Ow. Molly and tell it. Ow. You're in trouble. Ow. You are trouble. Bigly Bagelson. Yeah. You're trouble. Ow. Ow. You're not Ow. getting the biscuit now. You're not getting it until bedtime. Because you have demonstrated you Ow. cannot take Ow. care of things. You can't. You can't. Ow. You're in trouble. <sighs> All right. I'm going to show you guys what a typical day of feeding six crazy monsters is like. I've got the food already open. Got rooster's food out. I got rooster's plate out. I've got dishwater ready to wash the bowls. Now what I have to do is go outside and kind of scope out where all the bowls are. I already know where most of them are. So let's go out now. I'm going to sneak out the back because as soon as Libby is tipped off, as soon as I tip, touch that first bowl, they all will know what time it is. Alright, as of right now, she doesn't know nothing. Okay, I've already spotted her bowl. There's Libby. <laughs> and there is a Miss Tilly. As soon as Libby starts barking, that's going to alert them all. All right, I've got to grab this first bowl here. I may be able to make it to the porch. Ah, there's another bowl. Oh, I went and did it. I made noise. There's another mongrel. This one in here, Waldo. He freaks out every day since he was a puppy. Is it time? Is it supper time? Oh, you hungry? There's Miss Lily. Yeah, you guys are suddenly getting woke up. All right. We're having beef today. Beef. All right. 
cat. The cat is out of the bag. Help! Help! Well, oh, the dog's out of the bag. It's okay. Brewster, are you hungry? Yeah, your lips are going. Help! All right. Help! I have secured Help! all the bowls, and we are hightailing it at this point. All right. Every day, bowls get washed. Brought them back. Bleach water and soap. I just did my dishes, so. If one of the dogs would happen to be sick or something, I don't ever want them to get sick from another one's bowl. You wouldn't want to eat out of a dirty bowl either. Neither do they. And the big one's Libby or Lily's bowl. She's got the biggest head. She doesn't do well with a small bowl. I'm gonna get a dish now. You hear the commotion? Every day. Well, you see how Waldo acts when I get in there. dog food in a tote. Let me get, sorry guys. Each dog gets one heaping cup out of this. Two, three, four, five. I think I went one too many. Alright. much there's a lot of nutrients in this food they don't need any more than that okay then you get a fork today we're having chopped beef rooster doesn't really like this but what I do is I'll cover it in our chicken gravy I usually get chicken or rooster fed first. I don't know if y'all can see. Alright. These are her favorite. Favorite suppers. And she gets dry food too. All the time. So if I kind of mingle that in her gravy. Her chicken gravy. Now she won't know the difference. Alright. Let's take this on out to Miss Rooster. She'll start licking the gravy first. You ready for yours? You ready for oh, yours? Oh. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Are you waiting for supper? Oh, oh, oh. Every day I mix one of these big cans. I split them between six dogs. Give them a little meat, moisture. They all got to get the same amount. God forbid if one of them found out one of them got more than the other. <laughs> Some of the telly out there. And I just Mix it in there. Give them, give them a little, scrape the fork. Give them a little side bowl of licking. This time of year, I don't got any trouble getting these dogs to eat. But when it gets warm, 
They don't want to eat. And I actually back off on the amount I give them. Because they're not going to eat it. Side bowl lickings. Alright. There's a certain order to this if you want to end the chaos soon. Alright. Hold on, Lily. Then we got Libby. Uh, ooh, we got some spillings. We got Libby, Millie, and the other one, Tilly. Is that a good rooster? Who wants supper? All right, you guys get fed after these crazy Juan Kenobis. Real crazy Juan Kenobi. He just goes nuts. So get back. Yeah. Come on, monster. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, I'm coming. See, this is stressful stuff, man. Feeding these monsters. Here's a baby girl. Are you guys satisfied? Right. What are you trying to say, Tilly? Have I ever starved you? There's rooster going to town. Are you hungry? Yeah? What the heck was that? Can you say that again? Who wants supper? I know, I'm teasing you guys. And they play musical bowl, or er, Melly. Melly, you're a food hog. Come on, Telly. Feed monster. You got that old rug caught up on your table. I'll get it loose. What do you got going? Here, give me this. Alright. She will bite you around food. You gotta be careful. I uh, don't hang around. <laughs> Tilly and Millie's probably already swap balls. If not, they will. Is that good? Now there's peace in the valley. Now I get them all fresh water. See, there she goes. That's not very nice, Millie. Does that scare you? All right, guys. That's a typical day of feeding. Brought to you by Dog Man. All right, we're not done yet. After supper, each dog gets a treat. Rooster gets a bacon treat. She will not eat milk bones in the daytime. These, these two are getting dipped milk bones. So you want one? She won't eat it. Did you want a dipped milk bone? She's gonna take that out in the yard and she's gonna bury it. Did you want dipped or undipped? Mm -hmm. Lily's first, ladies first. Ooh. Now, dinner is complete. Why did you take, did you eat that? No, you didn't eat it. You just wanted it because it come out of a package. That's all you wanted. You wanted it because it come out of a package. You just got one of these. You don't eat that milk bone. You're gonna bury it over in that corner and it'll never be seen again, along with 500 other things you don't like. All right, I gotta go give Libby hers. Now, best way to give Libby hers is to sneak out the back door past these two they won't suspect a thing. They both learned their lessons with Libby though. They know if they come over here, she's gonna get them. She's expecting hers. 
got two dipped milk bones. If you have any complaints. Doing good, huh? All right, guys. There you go. Happy trails. Are you guys eating out of the same bowl? Well, there's no more. You got a piece of grass in your eye. Your eyes are like booger magnets. Yeah. Get you a drink of fresh water.